You may wondering what happens when you use the run command and how the Android system runs the application. In this video, I'm going to show you what are the steps that Android Studio use and follows in order to create an APK file and that will be installed on the real device or the emulator and other devices. So let's see what happens when you use the run command. First step, it would be compiled. So the Java or Kotlin source files get compiled to byte codes. Then APK creation, which is an Android application package or APK file gets created. The APK file includes the compiled Kotlin files or Java files, along with any libraries and resources needed by the app. Resources means uh, strings, uh, drawables, images, videos, and others. Libraries, we'll see the external libraries, for, uh, for example, the Glide library, which is used for displaying images faster, uh, the retrofit library fetching data from uh, from internet and uh, from the API. So we will use many libraries in uh, in building our projects later on. Till now, I want from you to understand that the first step is compile. The Kotlin Java source code will be compiled to bytecode. Then we create an APK, APK file from the libraries, resources, and the bytecode. We mix them. And then the Android Studio will install the app APK. If the device is virtual, Android Studio launches the emulator and waits until the AVD is active before installing the APK. If the device is physical, it just installs the APK. Then it will start the device with the main activity. So the last step is starting the device. The app is displayed on the device screen and it's all ready for you to play with. So these are the steps that Android Studio follows when you hit the run command. Let's see what happens when you run the application. So the emulator or the physical device get installing, uh, get installed the APK or the application. Now, what happens? Installing the app, app, Android Studio installs the app on the device. If the device is virtual, it waits for the emulator to start before installing the app. Then we start the main activity. Android starts the app's main activity. It uses the code in mainactivity.kt, which is for Kotlin, or the mainactivity.java, which is for Java version, if you are coding in Java or Kotlin, which Android Studio automatically included in the project to create a main activity object. Later on, we will see how to define the main activity, the launching activity in the manifest. So don't worry. Specifying the layout. Main activity specifies that it uses the layout activity underscore main dot XML. Dot XML means, uh, which is a layout file that it will be used to display widgets, containers and other view groups and views. So here we specify the layout, which the, which is used to display things, display the widgets, display the groups and the view groups and the view elements for the user. Then displaying the layout, the text hello world appears in the center of the screen is representing a view, a view which extends from view group and is, dis is uh, displayed inside this layout. So these are the steps 
when you run the application it will be installed it will start the main activity it specify the layout then display the layout